We begin with a health alert. If you think being bitten by a venomous snake is scary, listen to this. A student in California was charged close to $150,000 for anti-venom treatment. The question is why? Here's what you need to know. A single strike can suck the life out of your limb. And the vials of anti-venom needed to save you can suck thousands of dollars out of your wallet. It's pure and it's more specific to the venom, but all of those things come at a price. Thanks to science, today's anti venom is safer and more effective. It's called Crofab, and it's used only to treat North American pit viper envenomations, bites from rattlesnakes, copperheads, or cottonmouths, aka water moccasins. Each vial of Crofab cost a hospital about $2,000, and with only one company holding the patent to produce it, Many hospitals only keep a small supply, if any. That's why, after a bite, your first call should be to your local poison control center, who will know where you can find Crofab. And go to a hospital that's a larger hospital that is well respected, and you've got people there that are going to have some experience in treating it. Because the less experience you have, the more likely you are to use more of the antivenom. And more may not always be medically necessary. The initial dose, according to the manufacturer, is four to six vials, a cost of about eight to twelve thousand dollars for the hospital, which is then passed on to the patient. After an hour, if the bite victim is not improving, another four to six vials of anti-venom is recommended. But stop right there, because the extra round of anti-venom is not always essential. Sometimes it's just given as a precaution. That's why it's important to ask your doctor if they've also called poison control. Doctors and nurses at poison control centers know which snakes live in the area. And based on the specific species and severity of the bite, they can provide expert advice to your doctor on whether or not to administer extra vials. Ultimately, it's your doctor's call. And poison control officials say whether you're paying with insurance or out of pocket, if you're in critical condition, life-saving care must come first. If you're really sick, you know, we can be cavalier later on once you're alive and you have both of your hands to open up the bill and say, I didn't need that. But at the time, you probably did. But in every case, the time it takes for both you and your doctor to call your poison control center is an important investment in your care. Creating a team between the two can often lead to better treatment and perhaps a more reasonable bill. Paul Cameron, America Now. Now, if you are bitten by a venomous snake, staying calm can actually slow the spread of the venom in your bloodstream. Keep the part of your body that's been bitten below heart level, wash the bite with soap and water, cover it with a dressing, and seek medical attention as soon as possible.